I did it guys. Personal goal this weekend was to record all the videos I could up to yesterday for reviews, any purchases that I've made that have been delivered or I've picked up, all that recorded. And after this video, I will have done so. Today is August the 15th when I'm recording. So after recording this video, I pretty much have content recorded and uploaded. Well, not uploaded yet, but will be uploaded and ready to drop through the end of September. Very excited. Um, it was a personal goal. Did it a very, feels very nice because next thing I have to do is filter in all the titles I've been accumulating into the shelves. What that's probably going to mean is this shelving area right here. You can see how there's more space than all these shelves. So on my top shelf, which I'll tilt up so you guys can see, I have double rows of movies. So I basically created a, um, I put a two by four behind, <clears throat> put a row of movies and then put movies in front of it. It's not ideal because you have to move movies out of the way to get to the back movies. Um, but I'm also limited for space and I have, fully utilize that space. So once I filter in the movies, I'm probably going to have to do that again down behind me. So the problem is that's going to cause these two steel books to have to move somewhere, maybe like up here. So you guys can still see them in videos and uh, it's going to block titles down here too, but it, it beats the alternative of movies going into storage or just getting rid of a ton of movies, which I've, I did. I purged a bunch of titles. So Enough of that. Uh, this video features pickups, a lot of stuff from buddies of mine. Excuse me. Um, so I went to Columbus with Dave Cinema Sickness, met up with James of James DT. Ooh, I forget his full name. I'll put his link down below to his Instagram. He goes to Dollar Trees and his local record store. James is a really nice guy. Uh, met my buddy Brandon, um, come along board. I'll put a link to his Instagram down below. So I got stuff from all three of those guys. Uh, also brought RJ, my mom and sister to Columbus because they'd never been. So I actually don't think, I have one title from Columbus and it wasn't technically from Columbus. It was from the Goodwill in the parking lot of Columbus. The stuff I bought at Columbus, which was probably the least amount, but they were also calling for rain, so it was pretty empty for a Sunday. Um, probably the smallest pickup I've ever done at Columbus. But I had stuff from Dave, I had stuff from Brandon, I had stuff from James. And then the next two days after that, we went to Hershey, my sister, mom, but actually my two sisters, my mom, RJ and I, uh, went to Hershey, and on the way back from Hershey, we stopped at Game Traders Club, and uh, I got some cool titles from Game Traders Club, so we're going to add that to the end of the video. We're going to dive right in, and the first two things I have are pop figures, um, and I'm legit out of space now after these two pop figures. I have nowhere else to put them, so I'm either going to have to get rid of some pops and that's going to be tough to do because I love all the pops I have now or I'm just going to stop buying them which unless I find one I really really want is not going to be an issue for me so Dave as you know sold off all of his pops except for Figments and uh, Laura Dern from Jurassic Park and Star Wars I believe so I wanted to um, grab a few from him because he had two that were on my pop wish list and uh, the first one is from one of my favorite TV series of all time. And I owned his beautiful wife. That sounded weird. And um, I wanted to get the main character, the star of the show. So this is Corey from Boy Meets World in pop form. I already had Topanga. They never put out a Sean Pop, which I always found bizarre, or Mr. Feeney or Eric. I'm not giving you guys ideas. Don't put out more. But now I can say I own Corey and Topanga. Uh, they'll go together on this shelf over here next to me. So Corey from Boy Meets World. Um, I'm, I'm not going to show him again in the elevator because I'm going to drop everything if I do. And the other pop is one of my top five favorite directors of all time. And I wanted to add this pop to my collection. It is Alfred Hitchcock there in black and white. He's holding the clickboard to Psycho. Um, so yes, I wanted to get this. Um, 
because I love Alfred Hitchcock. I love his films and I thought it was a very cool pop. So those are the two pops. I'm not showing those again, I promise. Um, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna show the DVD I grabbed first from the Goodwill. <clears throat> then I'm gonna show the stuff Brandon grabbed for me and then the stuff James grabbed for me and then we'll go to Game Traders Club. So the title I got, uh, which I believe was a dollar, I think it was part of the dollar day sale of Goodwill when we went, is a movie I don't believe ever got released to Blu-ray. I know it's a Warner Archive title now starring Matthew Lillard, Jessica Biel, and Freddie Prince Jr. And that is the baseball film Summer Catch. I remember really enjoying this movie back in the day, although it's been quite a long time since I've seen it. Brittany Murphy's also in this movie, which I don't really remember. Um, but yeah, so excited to check that out and revisit it because um, I haven't seen this in a very long time. Next up, I have a bunch of CDs that uh, Brandon grabbed for me. As you guys may or may not know, Dollar Tree has recently been getting CDs in at their store. Not only movies now, but music and some pretty cool things. I actually blind bought a lot of these because I kind of Googled the band and I was like, yeah, I'll check them out for a buck. I'll give it a listen. If it's not good, I'll just get rid of it. So I'm going to kind of run through the CDs fairly quick. Uh, first up, we have the... House of Wax soundtrack, which features Deftones, My Chemical Romance, The Prodigy, Manson, Disturbed, The Stooges, Joy Division, Harmar Superstar. So lots of bands and groups I like. So grab that. Next up, um, we have a CD from a band called Lifetime. Uh, I think I just Googled them. They're, they were on Decadence Records. Uh, I'm sorry, Fueled by Ramen Records, but Decadence they were tied to somehow. So grab that. Um, two albums from this band, so hopefully I like them. Uh, they they were on Modern, um, Fueled by Ramen as well, but then they switched labels. And that is a band called Punchline. So like I just said, I, I was just taking shots, kind of doodling bands, listening to a couple snippets. Uh, next up, this is a band my sister really used to like. I don't remember their music very well. I, I feel like this might not be up my alley. I think this might be a little too emo for me, uh, but it is messed. We'll see, maybe maybe I enjoy it, um, but I'm, I'm, I don't remember. What was their song? They had a song that was fairly popular. I don't think I ever saw these guys live, even though I was going to a ton of shows when they were touring. Next up, a punk band that I enjoy quite a bit. I did not have this album. It is Goldfinger, and the album is Disconnection Notice. This album, I wasn't sure if I owned it, honestly, and uh, I was just like, just grab a copy for me, just in case, if mine's scratched up or anything. This band is awesome live. They're no longer together. It is Remembering Never, God Save Us. Um, a vegan, hardcore band, grindcore. They're very heavy. They have really, really good music. They put on crazy shows back in the day. They're on Ferret Music. Uh, next up, another CD that I used to own. I wasn't 100% sure if I still did, but this is cool because it's a CD-DVD combination. And I love this band. It is Story of the Year. And that's Live in the Lou because they're from St. Louis. And also, uh, Assassins is the DVD, which I think is a full concert and then a documentary as well. Uh, next up, another band I saw live. This is definitely like Grindcore. Did not own this album for sure back in the day, but did see them live. And it is A Life Once Lost, Hunter. This is very like A Life Once Lost and Red Chord used to kind of tour all the time. And they were Grindcore bands that I saw a couple times saw them at sounds of the underground i saw red cord in a life once lost at the tla in philly this is the cd dvd combination and then the best cd a cd once again i think i own but just in case i was like grab it for me because for a dollar and it's like i said one of my favorite bands every time i die gutter phenomenon uh with the butcher from aew is their guitar player andy williams uh, so many fantastic songs on this. The New Black, Easy Tiger, Board Stiff, uh, Chomping at the Bit. Just 
such a good album. I love the artwork on this one as well, uh, but I'm a huge fan of Every Time I Die. Definitely um, not music for everyone, for sure. Um, a lot of people won't like that kind of music. Lots of screaming and aggressive guitars, but I enjoy that kind of music at times. The next two titles, the last two things Brandon grabbed for me, um, he reached out to me and he said he had found them and that they were pretty mint. Yep, pretty mint. It looks like some fingerprints. And they were the last two that I needed to get for my collection of this TV series that maybe I'll watch someday again. Maybe I'll, I'll never watch it, but at least I have all the seasons. And that's The Simple Life. Uh, the Simple Life 3 Interns and The Simple Life 4 Till Death Do Us Part. The show's dumb, but I remember really enjoying it back in the day. And uh, I was like, you know what? I, they're not streaming anywhere that I'm aware of, so I'm going to get all the seasons. And I now have all five seasons of The Simple Life. And I definitely didn't watch at least half of the season. So Simple Life 3 and 4. Thank you to Brandon for grabbing those for me. Next up is stuff that I got from James. Like I said, I'll put his Instagram down below along with Brandon's. Um, the record store he goes to, I believe, is having like a 50% off sale. And um, there were some titles I was interested in. I got some titles to flip and then some titles for me. Uh, the first title here is Stanley Kubrick's film, Barry Lyndon. Uh, people say I look like a young Stanley Kubrick. What do you guys think? I'm going to try to put a photo in here. Maybe when I had like longer hair and looked a little more disheveled. I don't know. So Barry Lyndon, don't know much about it. Never have seen it, but uh, grab this one. I forget how much it was. I want to say it was like three, four, five bucks. It was no more than five dollars. So Barry Lyndon. Next up, a film I've never seen. It's a John Waters movie that stars um, Christina Ricci as well as Edward Furlong. And that is Pecker. I've, I've never seen the movie. I've heard things about it, but I've never seen it. So I wanted to add this to the collection and uh, hopefully check it out. So Pecker on DVD. And then this is really cool. Uh, James actually watched this to see if it would play because it was pretty heavily scratched. What I'm probably going to end up doing is trying to get this resurfaced somewhere. <clears throat> because um, this movie goes for a ton of money. But as a wrestling fan, as somebody who has lived in the Philadelphia area his entire life, I wanted to get this. And he said it skips in one part, so I could watch it and just skip in that part. But it is Barbed Wire City, the unauthorized story of ECW Extreme Championship Wrestling. So as a wrestling nut, very excited to check this out. Uh, ECW was in Philadelphia. I used to watch it all the time as a young kid. Like it was on at one in the morning on channel 48, which was like a regular, like tune in to 48 on your TV. It was three, six, 10, 17, 29, 57. You would get 48, which was like local Philadelphia. And that's what ECW was on. So barbed wire city. Um, very excited. Like I said, this is extremely out of print, but this is for me. Probably we'll have to get a, um, a buffer or somebody to resurface it. I got to find someone who does it locally. So barbed wire city. So that is it from the hunting trip. So thank you. Like I said to Dave, James, Brandon, um, my sister and mom for coming. So it was fun to see them fun to go hunting Columbus. Like I said, it's the first time I've been there all year. And it just like every time I've gone, rain has been in the forecast and this time the rain held out, but a lot of people weren't there. A lot of people didn't bring all their stuff because they were worried about rain. The rain actually ended up holding off till we pretty much got home that day, but I could see where people didn't want to set up at a flea market and have all their stuff get soaked. So, all right. The next things I'm going to show you are all from, I totally just blanked, are all from Game Traders Club. On the way home from Hershey, we stopped. Uh, I got three things off the three for 10 table and then they gave me 10% off some stuff that was on the racks. So I'm going to dive right in. First title here stars Josh Lucas, Derek Luke and John Voight. Never have seen it, but I love sports movies it is a Disney film and that is glory road. So I've not seen this, don't know much about it, but love sports movies. As I said, next up, another movie I've never seen, but have heard great things about it. 
I believe it's a suspense thriller police movie. And that is Kiss the Girls starring Ashley Judd, Morgan Freeman. I've never seen it. Let me know. Is it any good? And this movie caught my eye first because it's a shot select movie. And then I saw the cast and uh, Danny Pudi Pu from Community, John Heater, who was Napoleon Dynamite, Kevin Pollack star in this. And uh, like I said, it's a shout select title. So it intrigued me. It sounds fun. And that is The Tiger Hunter. Let me know. Has anybody seen this or heard of it? I, I don't know anything about this movie at all. So it was a shout select for like $3.30. So why not grab it? I think the table was three for 10. I know I got a few things to flip, but not much. Is it three for 10? I think it's three for 10. It's like $5 each or three for 10. The next two titles were priced at $8 each. So they were $7 and 20 cents. And the first thing I grabbed is a Kino title, um, which stars Patrick Swayze and Rob Lowe. It's a hockey film, I believe. And that is Youngblood. Never have seen this one either. Let me know guys if it's any good. Uh, also, supposedly a young Keanu Reeves stars in this as well, according to the back. The other um, $7.20 movie I got is cool because it is a shot select title and another movie I have not seen. Written and directed by David Lynch, who makes very weird movies. Uh, starring Crispin, wow, look at this. This is a cast of who's who crazy actors. Crispin Glover, Willem Dafoe, Harry Dean Stanton, Nicolas Cage, also Laura Dern. But that is Wild at Heart, the David Lynch film. This being the shot select title, number 46 on the spine. Tiger Hunter is 38 on the spine, in case anybody's wondering. I've never seen this movie. Like I said, David Lynch makes weird movies. There's lots of weird actors in this, so I'm sure this will be weird. It says, this whole world's wild at heart and weird on top. Does not surprise me. Time for the last title, guys, and then I'm done recording for a few weeks at least. So the next title here is the first and second season. This is a Warner Archives title. Uh, I really want to dive into this show. I've heard fantastic things. I heard this is everything I wished Birds of Prey was, um, but animated. So I'm excited to check it out. And that is Harley Quinn, the complete first and second season here on Blu-ray. Like I said, this is the uh, Warner Archive release. This was marked at 15. So this was um, $13.50. So I grabbed that to add to the collection. That is it, guys. That is it for the Columbus um, Game Traders Club. Basically, my buddies taking care of me and grabbing stuff that I was interested in. So, like I said, uh, links down below to Brandon and James' Instagrams. And thank you guys for watching. As always, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you don't do so already. Also, hit the notification bell so you guys know um, when new videos drop. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this. Also, be sure to um, check out the description box down below where you guys can find links to my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Letterboxd, where I rate review all the movies I watch, Blu-ray.com profile, my eBay store, Amazon wishlist, P.O. box, email address, all found down below. I've recorded 12 videos in two days. I have content for a month and a half. I'm having a drink of sparkling ice water. Time to go run errands, time to go to the movies, and until next time, who's down to movie?